In this video, we're going to be using the rectangle tool um, to create some basic shapes. So the last video, we used the line tool, uh, which is the pencil, and that works really well. Uh, right next to that, we have the rectangle tool, which will uh, you know, take some of that work out of creating something like this. So with the rectangle tool, notice that the value control box doesn't say length anymore. It says dimensions, because you're not going to be putting in one length, it'll really be two. So we just click and pull our mouse out so we get something that looks like this. Okay, and you'll see that when we do that we have two dimensions down here divided by a comma. So that will allow us to put in the dimensions of our shape. So we could say something like 10 feet, comma 10 feet, and we hit enter, we will have a 10 foot by 10 foot rectangle. If I do one next to that, we'll change the proportions a little bit. You'll see that it's a little bit tricky sometimes to know which way SketchUp is, is referring to the object first. Is it, you know, it's X, Y, but that's not always obvious depending on the orientation you're looking at. So what you can do is stretch it out extreme in one direction, it'll give you an idea. So I have it really tall, like very vertical from my angle right now. So I see that the dimensions are basically four feet by 80 feet, uh, which gives me an idea of what it's asking for first. So I could do something like 15 feet, comma, um, eight feet to give us something with a different proportion. We're keeping the measurements very simple. But if I had, uh, you know, wanted to do something a little finer, what I can do is the rectangle tool, click over here, and put something in with a little bit, you know, more precision. So it could be something like 10 feet, 6 inches, and I don't have to put that inch mark, and then 11 feet, 6 space, 1 half inch, for example. So that's really the basics of putting the measurements in. You really just do it exactly how it sounds. Now for the six and a half, I could have done 6.5. You know, you can use the metric or the actual fraction like that. Either way will work. So we can draw flat on the ground like this, or we can come in and actually um, draw vertically if we want to as well. So I just hit the arrow key that goes up on my keyboard, the up arrow. I can pull it this way and say I want to go 10 feet, comma 10 feet, enter. And it's really the same basic process that we did before. But instead of drawing it with just lines, we're using our uh, you know simple rectangle tool to make the job just a little bit easier. Now once again this isn't necessarily the fastest way to create a closed shape but it's definitely an option and it's a good thing to know when you have some open gaps you need to fill in and you're constructing something that's a little more complicated uh, this can be a really good way to go.